Welcome back. Today I'm here to wow you. When you are finally ready to go check out that house before you buy, these are some of the common red flags you must look out for. Number one, random fresh paintings. If you go out there checking that property before you make payment for it, look out for fresh painting. Be intentional about it. Move your hand around. Look closer to the details. Look into the walls. Look around and see whether you see any fresh painting anywhere. Mostly the corner somewhere, maybe closer to the window, random places. If you see random fresh paints on a property, especially let's say the property has been developed, let's say about two months, three months, four months, six months before you get there, and there's a fresh painting, look out for it. And the beauty of life is that no matter how they try, the shade will not be completely 100%. So look out for that fresh painting on that property and ask questions around it. Why is this painting fresh? Maybe they realize that you are coming, so they do little patches. Another thing is doors not closing. Therefore, if you go out there to check the property, you need to close all the doors, bang the doors, close it, open it. Try check the hinges. If the doors are already open down before you get there, close it yourself to see whether the doors are closing. You are likely to have these problems around the kitchen, the washroom doors and all of that. So try to see whether all the doors are closing perfectly. If it's not, ask questions and ask them to fix it. If there's something major, you don't settle for it. Another thing is you see rodents, you see cockroaches and all of that running about. Check out. It's, it's a red flag. Seeing rodents and termites, random ants and all of that moving around in a fresh property. Ask question, how come there is cockroach in here, there is a rodent here, there is an ant, even millipede, all those insects, you know, around. You have those random animals moving around in your property. Ask questions. It could be maybe the flooring or some corners are not done properly. There are certain things stored in the room, maybe somewhere. And then those things are infesting or growing rapidly in that house. If you want to buy the such house and you don't do better fumigation, you live and cry forever. Another thing is bad roads, you know. And ask questions about it. When you go to see that property and you see that the roads are terrible, ask questions. Why is the road not too good? Is the government going to fix it? Is it the community, especially gated communities? Ask questions. If it's a gated community, the onus lies on that developer to fix that road for you. Unless, of course, the individual property owners need to join forces and then construct the road. If it's just a random person going out there, then ask questions why, is, why the roads are not perfect. If the roads are not perfect, let them help it and construct it or do something about it. Another red flag is that just a building. We know everybody starts from somewhere. But if you go out there, you want to buy a property and it's just a building. That is the only building that developers started. Then you need to be careful to ask questions perfectly to understand that this person truly is into business. It could be... He build a house and he want to sell it randomly. And that's how most people start their real estate journey. But if the person is not into the house sales business, there is a tendency that he or she will not respect certain quality checks. So if it's just a building, ask questions to understand that, okay, why is it just a building? Do you have plans of doing more? And then with that also, you need to get somebody to check the structural credibility or the entire outlook of the property before you buy it. Just a random house right in a certain corner and it's up for sale. Shine your eye. Shine your eye. Another thing you're supposed to check out for is dampness. You know damp? <laughs> if you see a property and there is damp in there, run away. Oh, don't waste your time on it. Damp. The person may tell you that, oh, it's okay to do well, this and that. Sometimes you see the discoloring on the, on the wall. You can see the paint coming off from the wall and all those things. It is a super red flag. Red, 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 like Manchester United. Run away. Don't spend your time on that property. Because no matter what you invest into repairing that dampness, it will always rise and it will always wet that building for you. It will get to a point that it will even come off. They may tell you that, oh, you can get a waterproof cement and fix it and all of that. Do not waste your time on a property that there is dampness dampness rising up it may rise from the foundation where they've not fixed certain problems so run away from it water stains also is there you see that there's a water stain somewhere sometimes you see some bubbles in the painting 
in a corner of the building somewhere or some place those are those things you need to just look out for those random random things are not right in place check out for them and ask questions and be sure that you're convinced with the answers before you buy such house it's a red flag if they cannot fix it do not buy that house another thing you're supposed to check out for is stains in the ceiling especially secret roofing <laughs> The secret roofing, you know everybody is a master of it, you know that. So if you go buy a property that is a secret roofing or the hidden roofing, and there are stains in the ceiling, there are stains in the POP at the top, run away or don't commit your money to that. They've not done the ceiling properly. So you get settled there, the water is dripping time and time. It will be dripping little by little. By the time you buy that property, you stay in for six months, you see that stain all over the building. And that is the worst. You cannot truly correct you know, secret roofing leakages. They need to do it right from the fundamental or the beginning stage. So therefore, if you realize that there is a stain in the ceiling, there is a stain in the POP work, secret roofing, run away. Even if it's a random one, the heat roofings and all of that, and there is a stain, it actually means that water is leaking from somewhere, so you need to run away from such things. Another thing you also need to look out for is poor ventilation. See, before you build a house, you need to understand how air moves around in a certain locality. If the air is blowing from the north to the south, it means you need to position that building for quality air to enter that building. If the air moves from west to the east, you need to build the facade or the building and make sure that it faces that angle for the air to enter. If you are in a building, it is not too tall. Air is also not coming in and you want to go and buy it, what is wrong with you? Don't waste your time on any property that there is poor ventilation. Spend your time in there. That is why I insist on people to do inspection before they buy a property. Therefore, if you get to the community, check how air flows in the area. Is the breeze moving around? Is the place airy? Is that air entering the property? Be sure that there's quality ventilation on that property or air easily moves in. Proper sunlight comes into that building before you sign up and buy for it. Another red flag is buying a property and they're not giving you the document to the land. Hey, if you want to buy a property from a developer, you are sure to get at least two documents. The sales contract and the document to the land. If you go buy a property and they only give you one document and it's taking forever to get a document, you need to ask questions. Therefore, at the fundamental stage, when you go there to inspect the property, ask the agent or the developer and ask, how soon can I get documents to the land? Because the document to the land is the big document you're supposed to possess. It could be that somebody owned the land and you just develop on it. So sure to get that document to the land. Also, you get to know whether it's, if it's a lease land, the number of years on the lease to know that, okay, for 50 years, I'll be free. For 99 years, you'll be free. Get the document to the land or have an understanding that the document to the land will be provided to you before you sign up to buy that property. If they cannot give it to you at the right time or there is no chance for them to talk about it for you, do not buy that house. The final red flag you're supposed to look out for is bad order. Bad order in the property you live forever to fight that do not sign up for any property that you realize that there is bad odor emanating from especially the kitchen the washroom and all of that it means there is poor work done on the plumbing job therefore you can experience bad odor moving or all around in that property you are in the living area and you are perceiving bad odor do not spend your time to buy such property. The very moment you enter a property, you realize that there is bad odor emanating from any part of the property and they cannot give you answers. And you feel also that, you know, this is so strong. Do not sign up and buy that property. They have a problem with their plumbing system and they need to fix it. Do not buy the house. Therefore, I took you through all some of the red flags you're supposed to check out before you buy the property. December is coming. Most of the people in the diaspora African-Americans coming down here are going to buy properties. These are some of the red flags you're supposed to look out for before you buy the house. This is Dora Chronicles. Share this with your friends and family.
Thank you.